What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today we've got our AR-15 back out here and we'll see. I think I got the sight situation squared away from last time. We'll find out today. Um, we're going to head out to the second range and we're going to put a couple of rounds into our steel body armor. Uh, we'll be using a full metal jacket round and a light armor piercing round and we'll compare the two differences in those rounds and just see what kind of damage they do to that steel plate armor. So let's head out there and get started. All right, everybody, we're back out here this week. We've got the AR-15. I think I got the sight situation squared away on that. This week we're gonna shoot the body armor panel. We're gonna shoot it with some PMC XTAC 55 grain FMJ, which is just the standard round first. And then I've got some PMC XTAC 62 grain light armor piercing green tip. So we'll shoot it with both and see just how much difference there really is in the two rounds. All right, 55 grain full metal jacket. Apparently we did not get the sight situation squared away. Okay, here is our hit from the 556 full metal jacket. And that actually put a decent chip in the body armor. Still no bulging in the back though. And very decent chip. Camera shut off. Memory card ran full. So we'll try it again. There's no shot for that last one, so I apologize. But we've got our green tip, so let's try this now. Alright, here we go. Good hit. Alright, let's go take a look. Alright, so here's our hit. From our 556 LAP. Honestly, not much different between the two. A little bit deeper is all. Again, no bulge on the back. Just a slightly deeper cavity is all. Alright everybody, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman with the AR-15 versus body armor test. Body armor held up really well, uh, especially versus the light armor piercing, which I was not expecting, but it's level 3A and I was told it's rated for up to a 308, so uh, I guess it held up to its rating. Um, I wouldn't want to be wearing it, but that's what it's designed for and it did its job, so uh, very successful test there. Still love shooting this rifle. It's a lot of fun. Uh, very comfortable rifle to shoot. Very, very minimal recoil. Very easy to, to keep it on target unless you're using this sight. <laughs> we were still having issues with it. I don't know what the solution is there other than just overall replacing this sight. So other than that though, had a lot of fun making this video. Had a lot of fun shooting this gun. I hope you liked it as well. If you did, please hit like on the video, and if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe to the channel, and the notification bell in the upper corner, if you click that and select all, it should notify you anytime I put up a new video. You can also head over to Facebook and Instagram, and check out Idaho Rifleman there. I hope you guys all have a great week, take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time.